hump day, 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 hump day. Welcome back to the Hump Day Highlight Show. It's your boy Los A L East winning Los, might I add. Got my man Dean over there. Dean is suffering from uh being a Giants oh, fan. So <laughs> he's he's recovering. Um, so let's get straight into the episode this it's week. fine. At least you niggas are never gonna pay your quarterback. Who gives a fuck? Or your owner's fucking broke. That's why your quarterback every fucking game, the price just keeps going up and up and up and up. And up, and the fucking negotiations have not opened at all. So listen, you can laugh all you want, but guess what? In a few years, when you don't have the team, I can't wait to watch you fucking decide the fair weather somewhere else. I said what I fucking said. I'll do that. I won't do that. I won't. Sorry about it. Yeah, you will. I won't do that. I won't do that. Anywho, anywho, let's get into the (laughs) week three of the NFL. Not for long, not fun league as Giants fans know it as. Straight into it, some not might a fun say last week for y'all ass either, but okay, continue. It was fun for us. We won. No, y'all niggas lost the fucking Miami. Oh, week three, we won. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, no, but I said last week. Oh, okay, that's well, fine. Because you're right. Because we're talking about this week, and you right. guys barely, and you guys listen. Don't get me wrong. The Patriots are all right, but them niggas not the world beaters, and y'all barely hey. got out of that game. Hey. Of course, a dub is a dub, but hey, yeah, it won't hey. be for long in fucking in, in Baltimore. Hey, okay, Skip I know we talk about these, but I'm saying, hey, <laughs> all right, all right. for now, yeah, my bad. Go ahead, I'm all sorry. Right. All right, it's a little antagonistic our, to that. At least our season won't be over by Thanksgiving. Um, let's see here, uh, <laughs> but it will be, it will be in three years, but continue. That's okay, three years is three years, not not this year, Thanksgiving, <laughs> you know, all right. right. You're right, but we'll and see what we are in three years when we sign them. Go ahead. You'll see. Once we fix the offensive line and I'm get some I'm weapons, we're not Dean, that almost shut the whole show down. Okay. <laughs> shut okay. the whole show down. Y'all niggas What's are known for paying niggas that won't play. Kenny, Do- Kenny Galladay, how much is he Used getting? to. Used Kenny to. Galladay. Kenny Galladay. Used to. Oh, 100%. You- <laughs> but guess what? Guess what? Joe what Shane going to get that ass out. Joe Shane going to get that ass up out of there. We're going to get his ass up, up out of there. Sherlock Shepard, yeah. I appreciate you too, dog, but they're gonna end up getting them up out of there too. No, the turf did that. The turf did that. We took that's what I mean. Like, like trust me, let me tell you something. Joan Shea gonna do what it do. That's why niggas don't give a fuck about Kitty now. Okay, fair enough. All right, so let's get straight into it. Nigga ain't been good since 75. Fuck that nigga. The boys the pass is not giving a fuck. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I ain't gonna say it. I'm gonna leave it at that. The boys and the cowboys, man. I mean the boys and the giants, man. Sure. Quick. Takeaways from the game. What do you got? I know. I know. There's a Giants fan I'm talking to. That Cowboys. That Cowboys defensive front is monstrous. Um, and then the thing that's even scarier is the fact that fucking Makai Parsons, his dumb ass was fucking sick. So that makes it even fucking worse is the fact that when we see his ass later and he's healthy, that's going to be an issue. Um, I do have faith in Evan O'Neal, um, you know, for him in the years to come. I have faith in obviously Andre Thomas in the years to come. Who I'm starting to have a little bit of a worry for is that right guard. So the Giants offense needs to fucking figure it out on that offensive line position. We also need to somehow, some way, either find some weapons, get some weapons. But otherwise, you know, that's the reason that Dallas fucking won. Sorry. Um... That, that's that's the reason our defense our defense wasn't terrible no it wasn't terrible it wasn't terrible i will say and just like how we were talking about before this in pre-production sure we, we were t- like basically going through the game when before it happened you know we were saying you're good double team parsons and tank thomas uh, tank lawrence is gonna have a game Sure enough, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, it's like we saw it coming from a mile away. How wasn't the Giants able to? What are you gonna it? do? What are you gonna do? Right? So, like, for instance, you, you have yeah. to you have to fucking account for Makai Parsons. So that means somebody's gonna have to be one on one with this motherfucker. And mm-hmm. guess what? Fucking Tank just decided to fucking nut up. That's what he did. But guess what? You did. weren't. But here's my thing, though. Yeah, it's all cute and shit like that. But let's also put a caveat on this shit. You were beating my fucking rookie. You weren't over there beating Andrew in year two doing that shit. You wasn't getting sacks on him. Don't get me wrong. Did you make? You may have gotten one or two hurries. But trust me, the reason why you got all your big plays on 
on that fucking um, left defensive side is because you were against the fucking rookie. See his ass later or see his ass next year. We'll see if you're talking that same fucking shit. Mm. We need a new right guard. Yeah. All right, so let's go through some of these games. Not for nothing. You know, there has been some marquee matchups that I'm very excited to see. And left guard. In, in, in the first three weeks. But there's been some shitty, awful matchups that I don't want to participate in. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's some of them ones. I'm so like, sick of you niggas. I've been listening to you motherfuckers for a while talking about, oh, the NFL fucking, like, the games have been fucking whack lately. These low-scoring games, yada, yada, yada. It's I'm fucking football. About, I'm not talking about low-scoring games. I, I love a good low-scoring game. I'm talking about just boring. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what game? boring. All right, so not for nothing, this uh, Brown Steelers game was a little bit boring. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad, but it was. It was. It was a good boring. defensive football. It was fucking I, rough I football. Understand. Like you gotta fucking grind it out. But no, but that's the shit I'm talking about. You motherfuckers talk about you love football, yada yada yada. I do. But then and then, but here's here, here's the thing though. You two were just hilarious because you are a fucking defensive player. Wouldn't Absolutely. you be excited about having good defensive fucking football? No. Absolutely. You fucking been drinking the fucking Kool-Aid. You no. want to see this fucking high-powered offenses going all over the place. See these stupid-ass, crazy-ass fucking passes, but you don't want to respect a good fucking defensive match. First of, all, first, of all, first, of all, first of all, I understand that. I understand all of that, and I appreciate that. Not for nothing. I know, that, I know. you know, offense niggas get paid too, but you want to see something. You know what I'm saying? Am I going to see... Uh, 10 to 7 and fucking 3 and outs all game. I don't want to see the more than see the fun uh, more than that. I don't even want to see the punter, really. I really don't. I really oh. don't. This, oh, Lowe's you know doesn't love football. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Lowe's doesn't love football. That's awesome. I, I'm <laughs> these, these so glad like, we figured that shit narratives? out. You see these, na- you're creating narratives, narratives on, on, on the old show. It's creating it's narratives. True. I love football. Are you kidding? Shut your mouth. Um, you one know, game that I did enjoy, you just, you just said. Los just said that fucking he hates defensive football. He doesn't love fucking football, and he wishes that he fucking played offense uh, even in college. He never wanted to never, really play football. Never defense. Never wanted. I, I I gave that dream up in varsity. I was like, listen, niggas is too pretty over here. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here where it's rugged. You know what I mean? Where my dog's at. I'm right here, dog. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Um, <laughs> these, this Bills Dolphins game though. That's an exciting game to me. You know what I'm saying? I like I like games that is like, yeah, okay, 19 to 21. This is not the, the most points scored, but this is a tight fought game. You know what I'm saying? That's why I appreciate two one of them. Let me tell you something. I was not, I, I mean, they you shouldn't know, we, have won. They we shouldn't have about, won. That's my that's my thing. I had the Bills winning on this. I took the Bills money line. I thought Josh Allen and them playing good football. I know that you know Miami's defense is very stout, and I like their the back end um, with their safeties and stuff like that. But man, did you see this coming? Here's where I saw it coming from, right? So I did not expect it to go like this, but with the Bills basically having a whole new secondary, a rookie secondary Absolutely. within there because everybody's fucking hurt, I was expecting Tua to be a, Tua, Mike Daniels. Fucking cheat. I was expecting all of them to concoct some shit to really take advantage of that. I was expecting that. But what I was not expecting for the fucking Buffalo Bills to have 31 first downs. Goddamn, um, I believe it was uh, Miami had 15 first downs. They controlled the time possession. I think uh, 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 the Bills had it for like a total of like 30 minutes or some crazy shit like that. And mm-hmm. then wow. obviously, and then, bro. To have all they that time had, They all had the- like six. No, they had 90 offensive plays, and they still lost the game. You even had a fucking punt that got kicked into the fucking personal protector's ass in the goddamn fucking end zone, which they could have scored a touchdown, did not, got a touchback, did not expect that at all. And that's what scares me with the – let, let me tell you something. I'm going to say this now. Okay. Cold and hard. And it's not going to be that big of a take. Everybody should know it. But after this game, after the way that they lost, Buffalo Bills are going to win that Super Bowl. They're going to win that Super Bowl. Because there's no reason they should even been in that game to begin. Like, there, the whole thing doesn't make any fucking sense. So you think like, that they they should have blown out the Dolphins? They should have. I don't know. I, according, a, two scores. According, excuse me, excuse me. According to, according to, all the stats and analytics, they should have. Yeah, it should have. But no, 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 no. I'm no. I'm talking about stats and analytics of the game that we saw, not okay. of pre, oh. like oh, okay, the okay, shit okay. that yeah. we fucking saw. Yeah, they should have won. They should have easily won. 
it should have been like you said, like a two score, uh, a two a two score game, some of those lines. But then my, that that Miami team is tough. But then once again, the the Bills should have blew them out. They just they had a bad. And something else we're not we're not. I, I'm I, thank you. It's just reminded me something else and the reason that they lost. Are we not seeing how everybody on the Bills just kept passing up from the Heat? Are we not gonna act like that's not a thing? And that will not be a thing in fucking January. Yeah. And, and they're actually going to be was, the Bills' favorite. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah, the Bills gonna are going to win the fucking Super Bowl. That. I'm actually going to put money on it, and it's actually perfect because they just lost. So I'm going to put some money on that. Thing. And 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 like that is a good, a great point because the heat is not is not really going to matter now. You know what I'm saying? Because come J- January, December, is Miami going to be able to get a win in fucking snowy ass Buffalo? What's up? And then you know guess what? what? If Buffalo, if Buffalo does have to go down to Miami, huh? Feels kind of nice down here, boys. Right. Feels kind of good. And then you went mute. You're back. Now you're mute again. Now listen here, people. While those figures out those technical difficulties, let me let's kind of go a little bit more in depth into this into this fucking game. We think about it like that. So there were with the Bills. They were down to their third string center. God damn. They had a whole new right guard and right tackle. Their right guard eventually had to go to tackle because two tackles went down. That's what I'm mm. saying. This Bills team should not have been in it at fucking all. But the fact that they were in it, they had that much production. I'm telling you right fucking now, these motherfuckers are the real deal holding field. Because even in the game that they lost, they in the game that they lost, Miami didn't beat them. The Bills beat themselves. Yeah. But I would, I would, what I would say too, and though, the Heat beat them too, is that, like you said, with the analytics, all those yards, all those first downs, and couldn't punch it in. We are allowed to have bad matches, and I'm sorry, fucking Los. It's not. It's it's no, fucking right. 100 degrees down there. No, the humidity right. is fucking 150. Everybody's fucking dying. I'm sorry, Stefan Diggs. Every other play is going to the sideline. They got to get fucking, you know, catching cramps. No disrespect to him. I got mm-hmm. a lot. Hey, hey, Los. Guess what? I lost. Every fucking lineman, every lineman that we brought, play. They fucking play. They had Damn to. Every fucking <laughs> receiver, everybody play. They had to. Legitly Come had on, to. Come so, on, son. Come on, son. So while we're in the midst And then, of, yes, Josh Allen fucked that pass up. But I don't know. Maybe he was fucking exhausted because he was just running all over the place. And once again, it's like 100 degree weather. The nigga was playing normally in upstate fucking New York. We ain't nowhere near that type of shit. I'm in a motherfucking hoodie on the real shit because a nigga need to be. Not because I want to. Here's a question. And I'm lower than him. Who's who is more upset? Dean or here? The Bills OC. Ladies and gentlemen, the (laughs) Miami Dolphins with a rookie head coach. That nigga (laughs) blacked. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. He blacked the fuck out. I'm sick and tired of these motherfuckers. Tua. They don't even play football in Hawaii. <laughs> when I first saw that live, I loved it. Uh, I loved every single moment of it. That is a new fucking offensive coordinator. He was the quarterback's coach last year. So, you know, he's not, you know, not coming from a new system. He knows what his guys should be able to fucking, you know, be able to do. They did not do it. He's mad as shit. I'm not mad at it because he knows they didn't beat. It's different when, you know, Especially any athlete listening to this, no matter where you played, it's you know, it, you know, at least in, I would say the high school level for you to understand this. It's different when you beat yourself than another team beat you. Sometimes another team gets you, and you're like, this was this, these niggas was on another level. We need to really go back and get to it. And then it's right. a fucking different feeling when you're just like, we collectively did that. And, I and hate, that's I hate, why he is bugging the fuck out. I hate when people talk shit too. When like they're like, oh yeah, we beat you. I'm like, no, you didn't beat us. We beat ourselves, dog. Like you don't credit yourself on my fucking win. You know what I mean? Or me fucking. Up, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, you you nigga saw us do doing everything that we normally don't do, nigga. Just, just you caught you us did. on the. Day. It just, yeah, it just yeah. any given Sunday for you, motherfucker. But if it was you, next Sunday, we'd wash your ass. You did nothing. You did nothing. But um, all right. So moving forward, let's see what else we got here. I'm not gonna touch on all games. Like I said, some of them just wasn't. Uh, um, Bengals beating the Jets. We gonna talk about the Commanders. That. 
Oh, we gonna talk about wait, Carson Wentz. Wait, wait, wait. I know, I know who I'm working with. I know who I'm working with. I know, I know, I know. Every week, just like last week, every week, every month, every season. I'm sorry. Last year, every week we had to discuss the NFC East. Every single week, we was like, it was like, it was like a theme of the Hump Day Highlight Show last season. NFC East. So don't worry. We're bringing that segment back. <laughs> NFC East will be covered every single episode because this is it's it's honestly the greatest, the most entertaining. <laughs> Nobody knows. It's in the most it's honestly the most Who entertaining. Fucking knows? Because I don't know. It's like literally we don't Damn. know what the fuck is gonna happen. But we'll get to that. They... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, all right. So Bengals Jets, yeah, wasn't worried about that. Um Titans no, hold Raiders. On, hold on, hold on. Can we? Can I just say one thing about that though? Just as offensive, we're not gonna say long on it. Get him some linemen. Nah, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Joe Burrow didn't get fucking touched. B. They was all some real bully shit. That's the reason that Sheldon Williams was getting bucked with his coach because his coach was like, "Hey, listen, Sheldon, they're quitting." Quit, the quit, quit. Excuse me, quitting. I'm sorry, Sheldon was. Other. Listen, quitting. They're beating the fuck out of you, bud. You're sitting here trying to do anything. But listen, you're trying to do swims, rips, power. They are shutting that shit down. Why is these bum-ass motherfuckers shutting that shit down? He was wild now because he said, listen, motherfucker, I don't know if they took HGA steroids or whatever. These <laughs> niggas is on it fucking today, and I can't do nothing. Everybody else is fucked up, too. I'm telling you this is what happened. So shout out to that Bengals offensive line. What are we going to do next week? A team that's not the Jets? Doubtful. But this week, good on you boys. You boys actually don't deserve anything but that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he hasn't deserved shit, but that win you won. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. It's all about it. That's it. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. So, um, Panthers, Panthers beating the Saints. I mean, uh, okay. James doing what he does. That's a little surprise. Yeah, but I'm not too. I'm not. You know, I wouldn't put it past him. Um, Vikings. If King is fully back. That's another question. Like, should he not just be on the fucking bench? I mean, for who? Who are you going to play? Who are you going to play? The What's coaches are, but here's the thing, though. The coaches are fucking Jameis over. They're fucking him over, fucking his brand, fucking his career over, just to save themselves another year. So they can be like, listen, this is all Jameis's fault. When they're not actually looking for any kind of solution to that fucking problem. Why wasn't their asses in fucking conversation to get Jimmy G? I understand that. I, I, I also understand that, that listen, that, that he was coming off of surgery. I understand that, you know. Um, Taysom Hill. You know, they he, high on Taysom Hill. They might be no, I mean like literally high. Oh no. <laughs> I know, but then you're not doing anything with them. Right. So either you sucking dick and dying slow, or you playing for money. Like which one? What what are they doing? And it looks like to me that the head coach is sucking dick and dying slow at the expense of Jameis Winston's career. Mm. If I was Jameis, I'd fall and be like, ah, this shit fucked up. Y'all need to figure this shit. I I I I'll, listen, I'll come back. Mm. I'll come back. Uh, we are, but you know, we got to figure this, figure this, figure this thing out real fast. Mm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Vikings, Lions, 20, 28, 24 Vikings. Um, that was, you know, that's all right for me. Um, Bears getting back on the winning side. I'm, I don't know what it is about this Bears team. Something excites me about them. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but something. Excites me. I guess when seeing them win in week one and then beating, getting smanked by the uh, the Packers and then finding the, I mean, granted it's the Texans, but still finding some way to win against shitty teams. They're a shitty team that actually looks like a shitty team and that's beating shitty teams. You know what I'm saying? Not, nothing right. surprising there. You know, it's not like the Bears are going to beat the fucking. I think we need to put some respect on the tight, I mean, excuse me, on the, on the Texans name. Um, I understand that they are, that they are. Two, excuse me, oh, two and one. I get that. I get that. But them boys is they that's something over, they're literally like just two pieces away from some shit happening over there. I'm telling you right now. Look at look at what they did with the Colts and that and that same Colts team beat the fucking Chiefs. It's the NFL. But all I'm gonna say is this in regards to um what was yeah, that bum ass team? That, I don't know what the fuck that was about. What, what was that bum ass? What was that bum ass team you're talking about? Oh, the Bears. The Bears. Yeah, so the Bears. like let me tell you something. Oh, they're going to be horrendous. I really wish and I hope for nothing but success for, for Justin Fields. But let me tell you what's going to happen this Sunday. This Sunday, all that shit's going to go bye-bye. Well, let's all get that into that. We'll, we'll get into I'm that. Sorry. We'll get into that because that's, that's, week, that's week four. We'll get into we'll that. Fuck him on Sunday. But week three, he's good people. 
Okay. All right. So yeah. So like you were saying too, the Chiefs beating, losing the the Colts. I wasn't <laughs> expecting this. I had Mahomes. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen to this. I got Mahomes. I got Ju- uh, Juju. I got Travis Kelsey. <laughs> all in fucking fantasy. I mean, granted, I still won, but still, like, come Can on. I say it? Can I say it? I'm gonna say take, it. Take it away. Should I say it? Take it away. That nigga Juju trash, my nigga. That's okay. That nigga Juju trash, boy. That's right. Yo, bro. Juju, first of all, that first game, how many passes in, did did this son drop? All of them. Um, and then <laughs> and then in week take two, all of them. <laughs> and then in week two, he caught like two or three. He had, oh, he had one of these games. Remember, it's also my league is also a PPR league, so I don't even give a fuck what he does as long as he catches the ball. Just catch it, Juju. Just catch it. All, all I'm saying is that the guy that everybody thought Juju was, I don't think Juju that motherfucking guy. I think Juju gonna end up on some fucking Galladay type shit for them. But go ahead. Word. <laughs> Word. Now nah, he's getting more playing time than motherfucking than than uh, Galladay. Oh, well, it didn't start out like that for Galladay. But God, they bitching, and as soon as he gets the game, it, he, he dropped he the ball. Get, it did not start like that for Galladay, but go ahead. Anyway, <laughs> like you said, the Colts ended up, <laughs> Colts ended up getting the dub. Fuck it shows, that, that, it shows that Maddie is Maddie Ice maybe not be. Ah, uh, the game was fixed. Let's call it what it is. The game was fixed. You want to know why the game was fixed? How do you Who fucking did it? Buffalo, in Before no, listen, it. how do, but how the fuck do we in the NF list? We are in the NF fucking L. This is you're the right. men's league. When right. I was in high school, we were cursing each other out like fucking dogs. In college, it was fucking crazy. I can only imagine what an NFL fucking huddle and an NFL fucking like, you know, collisions and like that conversation sounds like on the field. Oh, a yeah. bitch ass motherfucking ref to throw a motherfucking flag for like unsports like or whatever the fuck it was or motherfucking Jones because he was having a back and forth with motherfucking Matt Ryan. It's absolutely atrocious. And then when you just look at just the fucking just just off of that fact alone i'm saying that the refs were fucking in on it fuck the refs they want to get paid these niggas should have never fucking won somebody had some money somewhere else and it wasn't with fan duel or draft kings they had that shit with uncle, Sal, uncle paulie doing this shit on the <laughs> on the fucking dl with the book bookmaster it was buffalo wild wings and it they, it's they have a conspiracy and if it wasn't buffalo wild wings it was pete rose that's what it was <laughs> That's really who it was. Let's be clear. <laughs> nigga Love nigga. my nigga. But uh, all right. That was said in jest. It was a joke. Yada yada yada. That port, you know that that portion. Don't nobody sue us and shit like that. Unless y'all find out that the brush is really cheap, but that shit don't make no fucking sense. <sighs> and Los will mute again. So now, since 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 Los will mute again, I can fucking go ahead. And maybe go a little bit more in depth in regards to that. Um into that Chiefs and Colts game. See, this is the thing that's amazing about the NFL, right? We have a team in the Colts who are really fucking shitty. Yeah, they are. But they should not be shitty. They should not be. They shouldn't be this bad. They are missing. They the Col- and You're mute again. The, the, the Colts should not be as, as shitty as they are or playing the way they are. I understand that they don't have the, uh, you know, though that Broadway style weapon, I would say, you know what I mean? That, that, that big name, you know what I mean? But you still got Matt Ryan. You have one hell of a fucking run game and you have a good offensive line and that defense is supposed to be oh, good. Oh yeah. But Fuck here's the thing that, 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 that defense has some injuries, you know, Matt Ryan has not been playing like we would expect Matt Ryan to be playing. What were we um, expecting to really do though? Be better than with that. The, the, the shit that he was putting out, you can't, you can't be Matt Ryan on that on that Colts team and tie with the fucking Texans, and you have muted again. It just cannot happen. Now you're unmuted, and now you're muted again when you went to talk. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it's the man and shit like that. Because maybe you were about to say some bullshit um, in defense of Matt Ryan. I don't know what the fuck that was. Um, all I'm just saying is that if Matt Ryan ties the fucking Texans, like that's not what they called you here to do. Like you, you're not supposed to be that guy. You can't. We can't have it. Let me tell you something. I- I was not going to ever defend Matt Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, it's crazy. The, the up and down, like what Matt Ryan are we getting? Like you lose to the Jags, but then you beat the Chiefs. Like what the fuck? Like what are we doing? You get blanked. Blanked by the Jags. But you win a close one against the Chiefs? Is this Chris Ballard's fault? It is. Like he just keeps getting shitty fucking. Like don't get me wrong. Andrew Luck was a what would have been the guy. 
Sucks that you had to go on quarterback fucking kind of carousel after that. But these last two, you brought Carson Wentz, who fucking eats donkey dick. Um, Phil, Phil, Phil wasn't bad. He wasn't bad. They went to the playoffs. Yeah, he wasn't bad. Yeah, 100%. No, 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 no. Philip Philip wasn't bad. But that Carson Wentz is an issue. Also, too, not for nothing, Matt Ryan is not looking like a fucking guy. We keep going after these older fucking guys. Let's get somebody who's a little younger that maybe we can get behind. Were they even in the conversation for Russell Wilson? Seriously? They may have yeah. inquired, but did they – you see what I'm saying? Were they – once? did they really inquire about fucking Jimmy Garoppolo? No. You know what I mean? Like I don't, think, before, I don't think anybody really wanted Jimmy like that, though. And I don't understand. I don't know why – if you you put Jimmy on that coach team, they're beating the Texans. Who did they who did they who did they lose to? Um last they're beating the Texans with Jimmy. They're beating the Texans with Jimmy. They're not fucking tying with the Texans with Jimmy Garoppolo. I'm telling you right now. Matter of fact, I'll say something else. If the Giants had Jimmy Garoppolo, we'd be three and zero right now. 100 percent That's not that hard, dude. Y'all was two and zero last week. So we, we would be we would be Dallas. Daniel Jones is not going to be the long term answer first. He's he's good. He's yeah, not going to be long term. No, we answer know first. that, but I don't know if Jimmy G is much better than Danny. Oh, he would have been a hell of a placeholder. We could have maybe did some shit with the right amount of pieces around him. He's a hell of a lot closer. Come on now, let's stop. I don't it. know, man. Like I don't know. Like we're high on Jimmy G, but the nigga just moonwalked out of the end zone. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like I don't. You're know. right. He did make that <laughs> mistake, but then he's also you know somehow just been fucking. For, you're right. So maybe a team with the Giants, you know, who doesn't because we also need we we need a Broadway style weapon. Yeah, to y'all need fucking Saquon. Like we need a we need we need a Broadway receiver. Not no, not for nothing. Like I mean, I know this is like kind of general statement to say, but the Giants especially need great quarterback play. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like y'all skills are decent enough to get it going. Y'all just need. A better quarterback. But then you know, what, you know what? So, so, but then you know what though? But I was just shitting on him. But then here I'm gonna come fucking halfway defending his ass. So, were you watching? Did you watch Monday Night Football last night? Yeah. Which man? Which which cast did you watch? Did you watch the regular one or did you watch the Manning cast? I didn't watch the Manning cast. I, I always want man- to, but I never catch it. It's on ESPN. I, I watched. The, I watched the Manning cast. Um, the Tracy Morgan one was a little hard portion to get through, just because mm-hmm. I don't think. Peyton was really getting Tracy the way you like Eli. I think if it was just Eli, Eli and Tracy, it would have been better in that that moment. I think mm-hmm. Peyton was throwing it off. But I was watching the Manning cast, and when they had Pat McAfee on that second quarter, they were they were talking about with they uh um they were talking about doing a double move on Diggs. They want the receivers to do a double move early on because they wanted Diggs, and then also the whole defense to respect the deep threat. Tra- so that way, Diggs. hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, okay. I said, Diggs. I know, but you know, there's three Diggs in the NFL, so true. Trayvon Diggs. So <laughs> it was, uh, you know, for Trayvon Diggs. You know what I mean? You know, so he can, so not only you know, get him kind of respecting, but also you know that that pass rush as well. Like, like, you know, hey, relax a little bit. Like, we will fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we will fucking just sling this thing. You gonna have to be, you have to pay fucking attention. And you know they, you know, that's what that that's what Peyton kept saying. Like, we need to do that early. We need to do that early, and then. I think it was Eli who brought the point. He was like, "Well, do they have the protection to do that? Do they have the protection? A five step drop? Do they have protection for a five step drop?" Let me tell you something. I'm not mad at the choices in 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 regards to Evan O'Neill and Andre Thomas. I'm not. I'm not. I think Evan O'Neill is going to become a guy. He's getting better each and every fucking game. But he really is like, yeah, you know, Lawrence did what he did, but it's fucking tank, right? But we need and Feliciano is a dog at that. I just just love how you cycled back to the Giants game, even though we were done with them. <laughs> it's like, how do, we, I, I, how do we even get back to the Giants? I was like, I, th- I was like, wait, how do we even do this? Oh, you did that in regards to the weapons that you made. But I'm just saying, like you said, we need to also, we're not giving him a fair shot with them boys up front. No. So, you know, who knows? Because you see what he does with his legs. Now imagine he had time to be able to accurately read and then you get him a Broadway guy. Daniel Jones could be a guy. Time will only tell. Uh, so, do, 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 do. oh, speaking of the Jags, right? Dougie P and those boys, they got some quality wins down there, man. 38 to 10 against the Chargers. Granted, you know, Herbert isn't full Everybody's health. hurt on the Chargers. Yeah, he's not full health. I think uh, Bosa Joey got hurt Bosa's too. hurt. Right. Ryan Slater, left tackle's fucking hurt. Right. Herbert, hurt. Right. Their big name receiver, hurt. Keenan Allen, got. Yeah. 
Yep, Keenan Allen fucking hurt. Um, and then they got one other person on the defense hurt. It's five yeah. guys. Yeah, yeah. No, they got a lot, a lot of injuries. And how much of those guys account for the salary cap? Oh, at least uh, sixty five percent of it. You know what I'm saying? Except, those are, except for Slater and, Her- and Herbert because they're rookies, but they will soon. Right. So that tells you. Yeah, no, no. But they, they, these are be. Pro Bowl caliber guys. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And and t- listen, their that Chargers team is only going to go as far as their marquee guys take them. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So I don't know. I mean, at this point, because Herbert's ribs are broken. Like what? Like they're dead, Los. It's over. The Chargers are fucking dead. It meant meat. It is what it is. Y'all heal up. Come back next year bigger and stronger. And what's going to happen is they're going to make some great acquisitions in the offseason. And then, you know, during they, the year, they, the Chargers are going to the the charge, the fucking do the Chargers. You know what I mean? They're just the fucking West Coast version and a little bit better version of the fucking goddamn Jets. There you go. Damn. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe Jets, Cow- I was gonna say maybe Cowboys, but all right, yeah, all right. <laughs> Jets are gonna Jets. No, but the Chargers will at least get fucking eight wins. Oh no, but I just meant the disappointment. Like no matter oh, what oh, you okay. do. Yes, 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 yes. But yeah, I guess I guess I guess if you want to, you can easily control. Uh, you know, compare the Dallas to. I'm not. I'm not adverse to that. You know, they're both like you know, they both always end up in the shitter. Right. Um. One's diarrhea. One's just fucking solid, but it's still bro- shit. Broncos 49ers. I'm not gonna address this game. Oh, Russell Wilson's dead. He's fucking dead. Never to fucking come again. The arm is fucking done. Shout out to him for fucking swindling these motherfuckers for all that fucking cash. Money. But fucking let me tell you something. Pete Carroll sitting back like. But you know what? I told though? You motherfuckers. But you know what? He fucking sucks, finds yeah. a way to win, though. Finds a way to win. That and that's like. No matter what, he may not his arm may not be as lively as it once was, but find a way to win. You telling me that with eleven points he's gonna beat Aaron Rodgers? I'm not. He, we don't. First of all, we don't even know because here's the thing. Yes, he's he's, he's playing like shit, right? He's playing like absolute shit right now. But Broke shit. it's not. It's not. It's not like he doesn't know how to play well. He's just not doing it. He's not executing. But he knows what he needs to do. You oh, know what yeah, I'm saying? Sure. I'm pretty sure Carson Wentz is thinking the same thing. No, no, no. no, no, no I'm no. not comparing those two, but I'm just saying <laughs> Carson. But Carson was playing at the top of his game for a while, and then whew, eventually he went down. You know what I mean? It was mean? fucking um, like, what, three years ago, four years ago. Could we be starting to see his decline? I don't know. Why did Seattle not want to keep him? Why do you not want to stay in Seattle? That's the question. No, fuck that. It's a, it makes sense why he would not want to stay in Seattle as a player. I'm not arguing that point. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that why would Seattle not do everything that they could to keep their franchise fucking quarterback? Think because about that for a second. Maybe maybe where they were at the time. Where they are with their, you know, with their... Because his assholeness outweighed his ability. That's ultimately what comes it down to, right? But then you have to ask yourself, well, how did that happen? Is, is is your ability dropping or is your ass on is going up? The way that you're playing on the field and you were lately, it looks like your fucking ability is dropping. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of it is because you were getting injured. You I'm had to get say, fucking surgeries. Dude. And then also that, that 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 also could be a direct correlation because the fucking goddamn Seahawks is not going to offensive line in front of you. I understand all that. But regardless of the fact that still the end result is you on a decline. They did not want to keep their franchise quarterback in a league where it's hard to get franchise quarterbacks. That's all I'm saying. That has to be looked at. That has to be counted for. No, no, you are you are absolutely right. Like it is very hard to get some, you know, franchise quarterback. And you just let one. Scoot, scoot, Fuck scoot, it. Scoot, Go scoot. ahead, bye, nigga. <laughs> scoot, 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 um, scoot, scoot. Yeah, yeah. We'll take. A, <laughs> well, listen. We'll take a few of your niggas. Take some draft picks. Yada yada yada. Yeah. Get this nigga out of here. No, nah, he's like, oh, he's like, he's like, oh yeah, Gino's still here. It, he's still here. Exactly, Gino. Gino. So I I wanted to pull up last year, right? Because oh. for for DK Metcalf, right? Because I think that sure. this is a uh somewhat of you know we want to see how Russell's numbers is affecting everybody else, right? Sure, sure. Two thousand twenty one, he had um uh seventy five catches, nine hundred and sixty seven yards, twelve touchdowns. Okay. That's a pretty solid year. Yeah. 
Would expect him to break a thousand. I mean, he was a couple yards short, forty yards short. But did 12 he do tutties? it? No, he didn't. Okay. Twelve touchdowns though. All right. The year before that, thirteen hundred. The thirteen hundred supposed to be you expect a little bit more, but okay. I mean, you know, he's he, after. But listen to this: twenty twenty, he had thirteen hundred yards and ten touchdowns. So he blew up. And they was like, oh yeah, double team him. So maybe that's why you could see maybe a little dip in in yardage. But makes sense now. Yep. But uh, you know, in terms of carry. But I'm thinking, okay. So his, his last two years, his, he should have absolutely. That's the that's the measuring point. But he also caught ten fewer balls between 2020 to 21. But okay, I'm thinking to myself like, okay, we could argue that Russ's play has been dropping, but DK's numbers. I mean, bro, damn near last two seasons, almost two, you know, two thousand yards. Well, definitely two two thousand yards between the two and twenty two touchdowns. I mean, and you're just saying you're saying because Russell doesn't have that kind of weapon in in, in Denver. No, but I'm, no, he's got skills like that. But I'm saying like we're trying to look at his his drop of play in when from Seattle, you know, being the warning signs of why he's not playing well now. But we can argue that because his his main threat. Was cooking, and nobody else was playing quarterback last year. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, uh, did he actually drop, or is it like, did the drop come from this offseason to now? You know what I'm saying? Well, he was coming off. Remember, he had that surgery last year. Yeah, you know what I mean when he was doing the fake fucking huddle shit. Like that's what I mean. Like not for nothing. I get it. He's a weird fucking dude. I get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? No disrespect to him. That's no. I'm a weird dude too. I'm fucked up, right? But like, he's weird, right? Marcos country. So. That's right. That's right. <laughs> like any man who has a fake huddle on national television, a warm up, and you know they're going to be recording because you are the fucking quarterback. You're Russell Wilson, Super Bowl winner. I believe you won the MVP too that fucking year. And then, oh, I'm sorry, you also happen to be married to fucking Sierra. You know the camera's always on you, bud. Yeah. So any man who does a fake fucking goddamn whole huddle plays and running plays and shit on air, you already know they're out there. But once again, it still begs to believe. Oh, I, with, oh, you're talking about when he was on the field and going through everything. After Tua, surgery. Tua did that a couple weeks ago. On the field by himself, going through the whole plays and shit like that. What's the difference? Was he sitting in a fake huddle? The man made a fake huddle. He, he kneed on the ground and then looked up like he was looking at other people. Same place. Like, there's something wrong. I mean, it, but maybe that could be just the, him getting the thing. Because yeah, not for nothing. Have you called an NFL play before? Oh, no. That, that shit is some shit. Especially when you got. Oh, I'm sorry though, Lowe's. Did he? Yeah. I, he didn't. He didn't play that game though. This is a game. I'm saying he was injured. Me- It'd be reps. different if he was playing the game. Mental reps. Mental reps. Los. Mental reps. Los. Mental reps. Los. Two words. Stop. Mental it. reps. <laughs> Stop it. Mental reps, bro. There's something wrong with him, and I get it. But still, you know. Regardless, his play drop. Mental reps. All right, He's a fucking weird dude, man. I still, I think, I, listen, I think he was crying before a Broncos pregame that he didn't even play. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, a preseason game. I'm not, I'm not sold on Russell Wilson, aka Ciara's husband, going in the shitter and being washed. Now, I'm not sold completely on. It. I, I didn't like say I didn't. Well, I didn't say he was washed. Washed. Okay. I'm just saying he's washing. He's, he's fucking rinsing. stinks right now, <laughs> and he can't throw the ball. He's garbage. And 11, he's trash right now. So yeah, he may be going down the shit if you just if you are Russell Wilson. And I'm sorry, you've only you know going into uh you know your 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 third game, you've only threw two touchdown passes. Hey, but them shits is the critical ones, the winners though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like you know what I'm saying. Like, do you I know where quarterback you're... makes their money at Los? I know, I know what you're talking about. I know you're talking about. I I get it. I get what you're saying. But if you manage to win. I feel like winning solves all. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm sorry. We're talking about Trent Dilfer right now. I'm sorry. I apologize. I we apologize. can talk about Trent Dilfer because he, guess what? He rode on the back of that motherfucking defense all the way into a Super Bowl. And that's <laughs> why, and that's why we always put him like, you know, in that class of like, oh yeah, no, nah, he won the Super Bowl, but it was what it was. No, 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 no. I don't put him in. I don't hell no, I don't put him in there. Hell no, I don't no I'm there. saying class of he won a Super Bowl. Yeah, you're a Super Bowl champion, but it wasn't for you. It wasn't yeah. because of you. Excuse me. You weren't really like a huge part of it. 
Yeah, but we could have had any quarterback. We can't put Russell in there, though. No, we're not. But what I'm saying oh, is it the games that he's playing right now in these first three, I wonder if I wonder if the Denver Broncos are not looking at Cooper Rush like <laughs> maybe. Yo. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Imagine what we could have done with Cooper Rush. Hey, and Cooper, how much less money would he have cost us and we could have fucking got a few other people? Let's ride. Uh, Cooper, what a, I have a question. Cooper's I have a boring. question. Um, Hackett, what about that Tyler Hunt fellow who's backing up Lamar? Maybe we could have got him oh, because every time Hunt, we yeah. ever Every yeah. time we ever seen him play, he plays lights fucking out. But this he plays guy, like he's he like baby Lamar, actually. He plays just like, like Lamar. This guy that you know we picked up, you know, ended up ended up sending a lot of players over there. Actually, that's another reason why we ended up having to get rid of Von Miller and shit like that. Um, we did all this shit to bring this motherfucker here, and he's getting me a combined like out of his first three games, don't 30 even, fucking don't points. Even, don't even, if that, yeah. like honestly, we could fucking get rid of him, take this money, doc, you know. Invest it, get in some other weapons, and then let's bring over somebody else to just fucking kind of place all this shit. Because what we got going, obviously, we can win games by 11. I can just get another fucking quarterback and put money elsewhere to win more, you know, to win it more efficient. Hey, ways. Cam, not Cam, waste Cam Newton, a free agent. Fucking money. Like I said, put my money <laughs> elsewhere and not waste my fucking money. There's no disrespect <laughs> to Cam Newton. That is none at all. But his arm is just, just as dead. I think that, you know, his best foot is done. Him getting into, you know, um, doing anything like, you know, in the personality world, like, you know, pod, whatever the fuck he wants to do, do that. Just don't go back on the football field. Wow. For real? Yeah, it's fine, though. He's made millions of dollars. What does he care? What does he, he don't need to go back? You're right. Field. I don't care. I don't care. You're right. All right. So Rams, Cardinals, this one. Um, I mean, yeah, like it's basically. uh <laughs> Kyler doesn't watch film, right? We're going to keep that narrative going as we roll into October. I want to see the dippage in in the numbers and the play of of, uh, of Kyler doesn't watch film, number one. Number two, Cliff Kingsbury is fucking um, um, Sean McDermott's bitch. I mean, Sean McDermott. uh, I'm Sean Sean McVay's bitch. He is. Um, He owns him. Number three. The Arizona Cardinals fucking stink. And they will always fucking stink. They're never going to get fucking good. Any team who gets fucking washed up in the lore of fucking J.J. Watt is never going to be fucked up. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's stop it there. Let's stop it there. <laughs> Before we get to the rabbit hole, let's stop it there. <laughs> let's stop it there. I, I already saw that shit coming. Right, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me get in front of this. Let me get in front of this. Let me get in front of this. Also, um... Uh, before we get to, we, I don't also, I want to mention this, but I want to mention this before we get into the rabbit hole too. Eagles commanders. Keep it brief, please. <laughs> keep it brief, please. I know you want to shit on Carson Wentz, but instead of shitting on Carson Wentz, let's talk about how my Alabama duo, my tandem went fucking crazy. Jalen hurts, Devonte Smith. I was worried because I got Devonte Smith on fantasy. Week one, A.J. Brown killed it. I'm looking, I'm like, okay, Devontae Smith ain't got no targets. He showed up today and showed up 30 points. Missy, thank you very much. What do you have to say? Jalen Hurts is a fucking problem. He's going to be a problem. I really hope that he doesn't turn into fucking, like, um, any kind of semblance of fucking, of fucking Lamar, actually. Like, like a poor man's Lamar. I would hate to see that in my division. I oh, okay, got it, got it. I mean, I he kind of, he kind of already is. That's what I mean. But like, if he gets like a little bit better version of, like, I don't. He's a fucking. I really do wish him all the success, except for when he's facing the fucking Giants, because you're like, you know, a brother at quarterback. I love to see it. Just it's something different. Um, and it, brings, and, it, it, and it brings a different element. But then also, too, you know what? Hold on. All right, I know we were talking about him. Listen, uh, great game. Uh, listen, once again, Carson Wentz, you fucking stink. You're always gonna fucking stink. Um, until until there's a coach who fucking ends up fixing you, or they realize that they gotta stop paying you all this fucking money because they're just fucking wasting it. If they want to waste money, I'll play quarterback. And guess what? The one thing I won't do is fucking disrespect the coaches and whatever they call, we'll fucking do. You want to fucking run the ball 50 times? We can do that. No problem. Guess what? I'll take the fucking minimum. 250? That's no problem. <laughs> now, listen, let me tell you something, all right? <laughs> okay, Joey Dean. <laughs> listen, you know what I'm saying? It's no problem. Now, listen, there is one thing I want to mention. And I'm getting sick and tired of fucking hearing. Shout out to Josh Allen. 
Josh Allen's a hell of a fucking quarterback. But I'm fucking sick and tired of hearing that this motherfucker's the prototype when I got Lamar fucking Jackson right there in the fucking face. I'm sorry. He's the fucking, he he, he is a previous fucking league MV motherfucking P. I'm sorry. He has always been a worth a fucking, a fucking worth a fucking team and been playing way fucking better. And don't get me wrong. Everybody's just like, oh yeah, but Josh Allen can sit in the pocket and just do that. Are oh, we not seeing the fucking dodge and the photos that fucking Lamar Jackson's plays right now? So I don't want to hear another motherfucker talking about a prototype if it's the name's not Lamar motherfucking Jackson. You know what? I ain't got shit to say on that one. <laughs> I'm right there with you, pimp. <laughs> All right now. You know what I'm saying? Because not for nothing, we everybody's talking about this narrative about, you know, Josh Allen's numbers are just as good as Lamar. Okay, I get it. I'm not knocking that. Numbers don't lie. But when you do you rather the, have the eye test, okay? Because Josh Allen, don't get me wrong, he's a he's a power guy. And he's running over the D linemen, running over fucking linebackers and shit, dropping off passes and shit. But he's not taking no shit to the house. You know what I'm saying? No QB power Bingo. to the house. Bingo. You know what I'm that's, Who the that's fuck the you issue. see Josh Allen running 78 yards down the fucking field? And actually, you got a defensive back who gets a fucking angle on him, and he still fucking beats him out. And it doesn't even realize that he's like, oh, shit, homie's getting close. Yada, yada, yada. Can't let homie catch me type shit. And he's, he's playing fucking around. playing around at the end. He's playing Get the around. fuck out of here. Josh <laughs> Allen is a fucking dog. He is a motherfucking beast. But let me tell you something right now, right here today, on Hump Day motherfucking highlights hosted by Lopes. If I got to choose between Josh Allen and Lamar motherfucking Jackson, <laughs> it's Lamar motherfucking jackson 20 times out of motherfucking 20 and and to to, to that point come on too, over to the to the giants come on stop it stop it and to that point too what, what's up with you and, and to that point and to that point right we see a lot of sometimes like let's say like a typical game from josh allen let's say 325 passing yards three touchdowns interception right sure. pedestrian game for him pretty good for pedestrian lamar is gonna be like all right 250 passing 150 rushing, five total touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we even talking about? <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> and I'm sorry, people. The older he gets, he's even picking his spots even better with his running. And now, especially when we've seen these first three games, he's been sitting in the pocket doing everything you said he wouldn't. Yeah. Everything you said he didn't. Everything you said he couldn't. And he's fucking getting it done. Guess what? That motherfucking game against the motherfucking uh, Miami where they lost, that wasn't Lamar's fault. You see those numbers? He put up Madden fucking oh numbers. You God. can't blame Lamar on that one, baby. Oh, that's a deep Come on answer. now. A lot of blown coverage. A lot of blown coverage. And um, nigga Darius Butler had said on the Pat McAfee show, Darius showed that show to play. That the Ravens ran their, their, you know, um, you know, their coverage showed it to, you know, Bethea, 12 year NFL vet. And it was like another vet, 12 year, all in the backfield. And Chuck Pagano, mm -hmm. defensive, you know, you know, ex Shot head coach. Top. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No one knew what the fuck the Ravens were running. Wink left and niggas didn't know what the fuck to do. All right. And listen, clearly we saw that <laughs> because we know Jalen Wilder and Tyreek is fast, but. No one near you in 15 yards? Come on. How fast are you, bro? Like it's just letting Tyree you, run down you, the field. You, you, saying, you saying Bolt playing quarterback now? Or you, got receiver now? you got fucking quarters going one-on-one -on -one with motherfucking Tyree Kill Cheat. Like, listen, the fucking, the fucking joke. The only thing that's fucking keeping him alive is fucking Lamar. They don't want to pay him. That's what, like, I, Honestly, I used to be like, like low-key would always like, oh, I hope the Ravens do well, but you motherfuckers suck. Front office-wise, fucking joke. Okay, fair enough. Um... Shout out to you, Lamar. Keep doing your thing, baby. Yeah. Um, so you can get paid not in conference. Yo, come on. Can you relax? He's can not you relax. You got the fucking goddamn serial massage rapist over there getting 230 million fucking guaranteed. And you got the perfect citizen in Lamar Jackson over there, and he's fucking dogging him out. It's hilarious. In the same division, same fucking division. They see the Browns. Not once a year, but twice a year. Not every once, every four years type shit. No, twice a fucking year in the fucking division. You niggas are a joke. <laughs> shut I'm up. On one today. I don't know what <laughs> Shut up. I came shut today. Up. I came ready today. You need to shut up. All right. Uh, you know what you have to do? You don't have nothing to Giants say to anybody? Lost. Listen, you just be like, lost. shut up. <laughs> like, you don't got nothing to say. Shut up. Oh, um, all right, so let's, get, let's get lost. I want to make everybody miserable. I, I see. You. Let's get into week four, man. Let's wrap it up. Quick takes, man. Um, Dolphins, Bengals. 
dolphins are gonna fucking rape them. Excuse me, I mean I've destroyed them. I don't want to use that word. Okay, so. thank you, thank you for the process. We ain't trying to get canceled. Um, Saints, Vikings, Vikings. I'll take Vikings too. Ooh, Seahawks, Lions, Lions all day. MCDC and the boys are gonna do what he got to do. I'm going. Listen. The, the 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 Bears and the Lions, I don't know what it is about these teams. I'm a little enticed by them because I feel like they're shitty teams, but they play well. I, I don't I'm know. MC I, DC, I'm a huge MC DC fan. Um the Titans, excuse me, the, the, the Lions also one or two pieces away on offense from actually being able to do something. Can Jared Goff do something this year? Who fucking knows? Maybe get him some weapons over there, but we'll hey, see. We're hoping that DeAndre Swift is able to play because that nigga is a roof, roof, roof. You know what I'm saying? Um, Go! <laughs> Jet Steelers. Steelers. But, hey, no one ever bet on the Steelers in your fucking life. Let me tell you something. These motherfuckers fucked me twice. Mike Tomlin mm-hmm. was supposed to be boys and shit like that, but fuck you. Let me tell you. Your ass couldn't cover against the motherfucking Patriots was a fucking first, disaster. First of, all, first, of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, we don't even need to talk about the defense, okay? Let's just leave the defense out of this, right? For the Steelers? Yes. Oh, okay, so the Mitchell, George Pickens couldn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Mitchell, shitty quarterback, Trubisky. That's that's the whole reason why not to bet. Who's protecting? Right who's protecting that nigga? Who's protecting him? No, yeah, they got nothing but fucking failures on up front. Brandon Moore, the big left tackle. All right, he's decent, but guess what? Matter. The center, the one they drafted, he's trash. The it fucking right guard, fucking trash. It don't right matter. Guard, Okafor, that nigga has a big. How can he do anything when he doesn't have protection? You it don't matter. Fire. I hate all you motherfuckers. It don't matter. Three-step drop. He's throwing 15 yards over the ball. Oh, I'm sorry because of my three-step drop. Okafor got put in my fucking lap. Bro, there's plays where he's missing reads. Has time. There's some, this place he has time. He's in the pocket. Because Bye. I'm not used Bye. to having time. Bye. Because I'm actually, listen, good thing. Good, wrong, right, bad, or indifferent. I'm not used to having times so when I got time. I'm nervous. It's like, holy shit, am I about to really fucking die? I'm misreading this. I don't want to fucking get hit on a career ending fucking injury because he's I'm got, playing behind these bum ass motherfuckers. He's got Sam Darnold effect. That's what he's got. He's hearing the ghost in the pocket. That's what he is. The ghost that sat by the left half. Get that That's man some protection and we'll see. Don't want to the man, Giants, Get the man some protect. protection and do, what? You know what, Dean? <laughs> I ain't gonna get I'm picking the Jets, man. Fuck Mitch Pitty. Um Steelers better do it, but don't put no money on them. Oh, hell no. Uh Bears, Giants are I see how you're feeling on that one. Fucking Giants. We're fucking mad. We're fucking yeah, go ahead and you yeah, yeah. Go ahead and go ahead and pick them. Go ahead and pick Chicago. <laughs> go ahead and do it. I, and, and I hope you make a parlay and you put them in that motherfucking parlay. And I I hope you do. Put them in there. Put them in there if you're that confident. In. Let me say something. We already know the no betting team. The no betting list is definitely Steelers, Bears, Raiders, and Jags. <laughs> and the name of the Falcons, too. Hey. I'm, I'm worried about them. Hey. Hey. $40. Nope. Huh. <laughs> nope. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> nope. Giants and fucking four. Nope. Uh, nope. No, no, no. I'm not putting I'm not putting 40 cents on the motherfuckers. You exactly. got me. Giants and Giants and four. <laughs> I just want to see the you know the Bears upset them. So I'm gonna go Justin Fields with the upset. I just want to see it. Oh, In MetLife, I want to see it. Um Texans uh Colts. Texans and Colts again? Yep. Give me the fucking Texans getting their first win. Okay. I respect that. I'm gonna In t- Lucas Oil Stadium. I'm gonna take the Colts. I'm gonna take the Colts. I feel like I feel like Matt Matty Ice figuring something out. He has not. I know, but I feel like he, I feel like, I feel like he will. Um, Chargers, Texans. Wait, you just said the Texans are going to go. I mean, Char- uh, no, it was Titans, Colts. Sorry. Titans, oh, Colts. Titans, Colts. Um, Titans. Okay, fair. Now, uh, no, no, they got a lot of injuries. I, I, I fucking honestly, these are fucking two like ugh, teams. Um. I'm telling you, we got a lot of these I like, games. I like the Indianapolis Colts offensive line better, and I like, I like that defense better on the Titans. I'm just, nah. I'm gonna go with, um, Colts their defense. front. Um, I like, no, I meant that, I meant there, I meant that front four. Um, oh, okay. I like, I'll take the Colts. Okay. Now Chargers Texans. Texans. 
Dougie Mills and the boys are gonna get it done. Texans. I got faith in Lovey Smith and the Texans. Are going I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Chargers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no one playing for who's playing for the Chargers, and everybody's almost gonna be dying. Doesn't matter. Okay. The, back, the backup quarterback. They'll find a. They'll find a way to win. That's yeah, I, that's how I feel. They'll find a way to win. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's Browns Falcons. <sighs> I'm going. Well, uh, listen. I'm going Falcons. Prayers up and heal up to Miles Garrett. Yes, um, for sure. Serious car injury. You're going Falcons. You said. They're at home. Yep. Can't trust Marcus Mariota. I'm going with the fucking goddamn Browns. I'm not trusting Mariota. I'm trusting the home field advantage. <laughs> not even. I'm not even trusting them. I'm not even trusting. Uh, them. Nah, nah. All right. How about this one? Mm-hmm. You're you're hoping for a draw on this one. Commanders, Cowboys. <laughs> um, the Cowboys are gonna kill the Commanders. It won't even be a fucking. It won't even be a ball. Cooper game. rushing them. Cooper Rush is gonna make fucking goddamn uh that me. that fucking bobcat driving motherfucking Carson Wentz and the and them boys like yeah he's done he's done call him a bobcat driving <laughs> that's what he is he likes bobcat I wish he played like a bobcat um <laughs> uh Jacksonville and Philly listen Doug Peterson I get it I get it. Not a snowball's Excuse chance me. in hell, nigga. That's it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I get it, Doug Peterson. <laughs> but, but not this game. I don't want to fucking and hear it. Not this year. Not this year, nigga. I get not it. A snowball nah. chance in heaven. Uh, I mean, nah. in hell. Sirianni, them boys will go down there and put their foot all the way up in their asshole. Yeah, yeah. I'm expecting uh, 30, 34 to, to, to six. Nigga, miss an extra point. <laughs> Nah, nah, it'll be like 34 to 17, 21 type shit. Okay. Let's hope that. Um, I don't, I don't really care. Ooh, this one is a game. Who we got? Bills Ravens. I know. Is that secondary back? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they're not. Um uh Micah's Ravens! Micah, Micah Hyde hurt he's done for the season, I think. I think he's done for the season. So. Yeah, but and then and then is Jordan Poirier coming? Oh, I don't know. You want to know why? Because your fucking Ravens are on their third three left tackle. Von Miller, the boys may have an issue. Oh man, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. all right. I got I got the most illustrious, elusive quarterback in the game. If anybody can think about getting out of a sack, at least one. Yeah, but what happens with Von Miller is there fifteen times? Um, hey man, we got Lamar gonna have three hundred yards rushing. <laughs> that's, that's the fuck I'm saying. And no Ed Oliver. So put that out there. Yeah, but the issue is that 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 Bill's second second string is 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 monstrous. Um, I'm actually going go to Bills on this one. I know you would. I know you would. Bills on this one. I'm going with Charm City, man. I should I I, I I should go to this game actually. I really should go to this game. I actually want Lamar to win though. They're going to win. So I, I don't know. It. No, no, no. I, no, no. I appreciate. I appreciate. It. Thank you. All right. So we got uh, Kyler. I watch film Murray versus mm-hmm. Baker, Mr. Progressive Mayfield. Uh, Kyle Murray doesn't have to watch film for the next 15 years, and he's still going to be able to beat the shit out of Baker Mayfield. So we're going to go with Kyle Murray. And you know what? The battle of the, <laughs> oh, crazy. the, battle of the OU Heisman quarterbacks. I think that Baker won the last matchup. I'm pretty Did sure. He? I'm pretty sure yeah, when he's in the Browns. That was a really good Browns team, though. You're right. They were playing. This Panthers team. team's not that good. No, they're, they're not. They're supposed to be, but they're not. Mm, how good? They're supposed to be decent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Playoff be- contenders, at least. Nah. No, they were. They were supposed to. They were supposed for, to, but not anymore. For the sixth seed, maybe. Trash. <laughs> but. In, in the bubble, in the hunt. You know, you've seen teams in the hunt. Yeah, that's Listen. this Panther team. Shout out to them, but I knew they were, and I'm a Giants fan, but I knew they were done when we beat them on the first game. I was like, oh, excuse me, on that on that second game. I was like, oh, yeah, these niggas is food. I was mm-hmm. like, I was like, the Giants beat you niggas after we, after that terrible game against the fucking Titans. Like, yeah, no, 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 we're not, we didn't even think we were going to be this good. So, no, you niggas suck. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no worries. No worries. Um, that means pretty accurate, too. Oof. Ooh, 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 ooh. Broncos, Raiders. Oh, this is going to be shitty football. <laughs> um, and I don't mean defensive wise either. Um, who's gonna ooh. play worse, Russ or Derek Carr? Derek Carr, 
Yeah, Derek Carr. Go. Yeah, Derek Carr's gonna have more yards, but more interceptions as well. <laughs> can't underestimate Derek Carr's ability to throw away a game, but then you also can't underestimate fucking Russell Wilson's lack of arm right now. But um, you, can, you can expect him to win a game though. Yeah, you know what? I want him to lose. I'm gonna go Raiders. I'm going Broncos country. Let's ride. Let's ride. <laughs> um. Uh, I mean, oh, the pa- uh, Packers, pa- Patriots. Like, are we even? Uh, Matt Jones, not yeah, no. Uh, yeah. The Packers are gonna fucking do terrible things to the Patriots. Yeah, I mean, sorry, I, Bill. I didn't. Sorry, wanna, Bill. I didn't want to discuss this one. Rams, Niners. I'm going Rams. Easy. Easy. Niners. Okay. Niners are home. It's okay. Niners. Oh, uh, hold on. No, no. Rams. Um, I'm pretty sure that um Trent Williams is hurt, so mm. can't go with them. Mm. Okay. And here is probably the game of the week. I don't know that Bills Ravens might be game of the week. Um could be. But uh here's another game of the week. Super Bowl last year. <laughs> Super Bowl last year rematch. Sunday night, Chiefs, Bucks. Who you got? Super Bowl. Do you what, what are you talking about? The Super Bowl rematch from a couple years ago. Yeah. Oh, because you said last year. I was like, that was that was the Rams and the Bengals. Oh, two years ago. Sorry. Two years ago, you mean? Um, yeah. Two years ago. Sorry. Tampa Bay has no idea where they're playing. They had to, you know, vacate their facility. Players probably got to move their families, do a whole bunch of other shit. Everything's going chaos. Um, the Kansas City Chiefs are coming off of that fucking abysmal fucking loss that they're probably mad at with the Colts. Also, too, Tom Brady and the boys have not been looking good. Fucking, you know, for whatever reason, I don't want to get into whatever. Uh, case she, so much there. injuries. All their skills are hurt. Giselle. Hey, hey, go. Can you please fix this for Tom's sake? Because otherwise, niggas is going to be like, imagine, imagine if Tom just would have left last year. She gave or, him the, she gave him or, the ultimatum. Or imagine if it was like, imagine if his wife would have just been okay with this last year. She gave him the ultimatum. Got. It was his fault. He did. He was wilding. Um, but she because said, of go get the of, ring or you won't have one when you come back. Mm. She said. The sources confirm that? I'm confirming it, nigga. I'm the source. Mm, I respect it. I respect that. You sources, that. sources is trust me, bro. <laughs> I respect it. I respect it. And because of that, um, I can respect that Tom Brady, Tom Brady and Tampa Buccaneers are gonna get this L. Um, so we're gonna go ahead with the Chiefs. Hey, I hope it's the Chiefs because I got these niggas in fantasy, so I'm expecting a fucking game. All right, but let's go from Sundays real quick to Saturdays. Just want to go over the um top twenty five. Let me know. Oh, you got boots with me. Yeah, go ahead. I did be able to see. I see how good I was. Um, let me know if anything sticks out to you about this one, right? Sure. Let me Georgia see. number. I actually Georgia. have been watching some uh, college football. Good. Georgia number one. Okay. Alabama number two. Okay. Ohio State number three. Okay. Michigan number four. Clemson five. Regular S- Michigan. Yeah, regular Michigan. Okay. Um, Clemson five, SC six, Kentucky seven. I don't think they're going to stay there. Um, Tennessee eight. I also don't think they're going to stay there. Um, Oklahoma State nine, NC State ten. I don't think they're going to stay there. Um, Penn State eleven. Ooh, go Penn State. Going to few lines. I have a um, I have a Penn State fan, but still. that's that's why I said it. Um, yeah. Utah. 12, Oregon 13, Ole Miss 14. There's a lot of fucking Pac-12 teams in here. What the fuck's going on? Um, The Pac-12 Oregon, teams are always really good like that in those weird, obscure... Like, the SEC is top-heavy. Well, and that's why I'm saying that there's a lot of these SEC teams like uh, Kentucky and, and Tennessee, they're going to they're gonna get a loss. A&M, they're going to get a loss on their record and in conference, and it's gonna, they're going to drop because there's no way you – there's only like two teams that go through the SEC unblemished. You know what I'm saying? Literally, there's only two teams. So it's like, uh, they'll see it. Um, Ole Miss 14, you, you know, this, this, is, this is the epitome of power five football. 
I don't see anybody that is in that is not in Big Twelve, Big Ten, SEC. Like, do we even see any ACC teams in here? Clemson? Oh no! Oh wait! Or, I'm sorry. I I stand corrected. All the ACC teams are from twenty to twenty five. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bottom of the barrel uh, ass niggas, but it just bottom of the barrel beat. ass niggas. So final take: the ACC is right? a joke of a conference. Yeah, we know that. We you know, we we're not even gonna oh, leave yeah. that there. Um, final take of the day: speculated, complete speculation. Deion Sanders to Georgia Tech. How do you feel about that? No, not yet. Not yet. He didn't, he didn't accomplish what he wanted to do with Jackson State yet. He's got. He's on a mission there. He's going to win them a, a national championship. Um, he is going to. He's going to turn that program around, and he is going to churn out some NFL players before he leaves. Already has. No, I mean, I guarantee you, he wants to produce some dogs. I mean, you, got you know what I mean? Travis, yeah, you got Travis Hunter. You, all you got to do is you need three years. Three That's what I'm saying. In three more years, we'll see. And then he also said, in order for them to be able to go against Alabama, he needs another year to be able to beef up the front. He said, "My back end is not. He was the competition's up front. We need you need you need those big you need those different kind of big boys. Give him a few years to actually transform Jackson State into a Power Five school. Maybe he leaves. Maybe he doesn't. I think also too. <clears throat> I don't see him leaving while his kids are still playing there. No, you know what I'm saying. I know. Um, Shiloh is, I think he's a junior or a senior, and then Shador is a sophomore, and he's Shador is like insane. What does he play? (laughs) He plays quarterback, he's insane, like insane. Like, he his numbers with these last couple weeks. With do you think he could be a Sunday guy? Oh, yeah, he's he's trained with Tom Brady, he's he's the real deal, bro. He's the real deal, like. I, like I, I'm gonna pull up his stats because his shits are crazy, bro. Like crazy, and I'm like, mm. to the to the to the fact that ESPN is like, yo, yeah, nah, you're going crazy, bro. <laughs> you're going. Give crazy. them, um, like I said, give them. So listen, listen to this. They're four and zero, right? Mm-hmm. His season stats already. I'm rounding up. 1,400 passing yards, 14 touchdowns, one interception in four games. Four games. He's got 14 touchdowns. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's, 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 he's cooking. He's, he's cooking. Sunday guy. And uh, also, too, the last couple games, right? Sure. Play FAMU first. That's that's not you know FAMU is a bustum game for FAMU. They they get money to play. Uh-huh. They beat the shit out of FAMU, fifty nine to three. Uh-huh. Played Tennessee uh, State Tech, I think next week, sixteen to three pedestrian numbers. Okay, next week, forty nine to seven. So they're putting up numbers, numbers. They're putting up straight up numbers already. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Dude, it's phenomenal. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Watch out for Jackson State. Uh-huh. They already, um, they're already running away with their division. Like, it, they're already, they're already running away. The, there's all the teams in their division have at least no in their whole conference have two losses. Every team <laughs> has two losses. These things are four and up. You're doing what, what you gotta doing? do. What are we doing? Jackson State, man. Shout out to look out. Be on look out for him, man. But uh yeah, so we'll 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 be back next week. I want to thank my guest, my guy Dean. Um, you know, well, we'll see. We'll see about this Bears Giants. Yeah, get man. me on here during the football season because y'all niggas know I'm not gonna be around here after that. Yeah, I Shane. Told. We gonna see. <laughs> we gonna see. Bears we'll see about Giants, what that Bears man. game. You won't even put 40 on them, nigga. Nah, I wouldn't. What? Come on now. So shut up. We'll be talking now. I, just, I said we'll see. I just said we'll see. Put 40 on it. Nah. 
I'm like, 40 cents? Put, 40 cents? Yeah, I'll put 40 cents on it. No, nah, put 20 on it then. Nigga, 20 my ass. Come on. Put 20 on it. <laughs> you a funny nigga. I'm not doing none of that. <laughs> put, my money on, put my money on no Lyman? What happened? Lyman? What are you talking about? Uh, nah, nah. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. Oh, you putting oh, that oh. you putting that bread on Justin Fields, right? You said you said you said he supposed to be a guy. You said this, they always beat in shitty teams. What I'm saying is put your money where your mouth is. Don't bitch this, out this, now, my nigga. This, this oh, yeah. still play I, for I the dropped Bears? it down from the 40. Nah, he retired. You good. <laughs> Damn. You good. Yeah. Nah, you good. Come Damn. on, so go ahead. Khalil, does Khalil Max still play for the Bears? No. Julius Peppers? No. Peanut Tillman? $40. Lance Briggs? $40. Brian Erlacher? 40 Mike Singletary, four, <laughs> and no, <laughs> zero, and nobody. <laughs> Forty dollars, son. Come on, go ahead and do the right thing. Nah, do the right thing is not pick them. <laughs> that's the fuck. That's the right thing. That's, you don't who picked them. You said they're going to win. So I'm just saying, put your money with mouth if you really pick em. believe pick em in like that. Only, only because I let, I want to see them upset the Giants. That's the only thing. It's no reason. No reason. You, you do. The 